So what is a story map? A story map is a way to present information using a map as the visual. Today we will map the events in the book Shogun to our Google Earth tour. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Google Earth. Now we can either do a search for Google Earth or we can click on this little matrix box over here and we can click on Earth and Google Earth will open. Agital. So we'll, now we're going to add a point. So click down here on projects. We're going to make a new project created in Google Drive. I'm going to call it Shogun. And in Shogun, I'm going to make a new feature and I'm going to add a place mark. So I'm going to just make a place mark in where I think the village was in the book. I'm thinking it's around here. Okay, now uh, we can edit this point. Uh, you can either, you can add a picture, um, add Hopefully you can add some more detail. Um, then we can change the icon that we use. I want to see if I can find it. Okay, so we'll go back and we'll add another point. So in the story, this is where it starts. The next part of the story is actually Osaka. So let's add another point. And it's actually Osaka Castle. Uh, in between here, oops, new feature, place mark. Uh, in between, there was a part of a big part of the book where they were on the on a boat traveling, and that could also be another point. Again, you add a picture. Make sure you're. You are uh, adding good details here. And I'm spending a lot of time on this, but I'm spending a lot of time on the icons, but they're not really that important. They could just be points. In fact, there we go. Okay, so now I have Osaka Castle, the next part of the book. They escape and they go to da, 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 Tokyo. Okay, again, uh, we will edit, add a picture, add details. Uh, you can change your icon if you want. There are more things down here with the icon. Um, which I'm not going to cover in this video. Now, after you have everything down, you can present. So it starts, this right here is why I suggested adding more detail, because if you only have a few words, it looks very empty. So then it, you can click down here and you can go to the next point. And again, so I don't have any detail, so nothing pops up. But it looks really nice if you have a picture and some details. So let's let's add a picture and details to Osaka Castle just to show you. Okay, so when we click here, uh, you get some options. So we can upload it, a picture from our computer. We can do a Google image search. We can search YouTube, Google Drive, your photos, which is Google Photos, or we can do a URL. So I think I'm going to do a URL.
Okay, so I found this on Wikipedia. Wikipedia this is in the public domain, so I can use it. Um, but I'm going to just grab the URL. Go back to Google Earth and use this right here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to upload it. <laughs> save image as. Remember where you saved it? Dex desktop. Okay, on Google Earth, upload, select file from your computer. Easier way to do this is just to drag it in. One more time. Easier way to do this is just to drag it in. Or maybe not. Here we go. Okay, now I have my picture. Add some details and saved. So when you present, the picture shows up, you have a, a title, and you have a description.